So Jordan just took the reins on that one and landed this stud Vanita. <laughs> Hey guys, so before we get into the video, I want to welcome all the new subscribers. The last video I made caught a lot of traction and we ended up having like 60 new guys join. So I want to thank you all and welcome you to the channel. Uh, today's video was all about catching Atlantic Bonita. Uh, me and my buddy Jordan got out. He was strapped up with a GoPro and I had a chance to try my new GoPro 9. I want to talk to you guys about the 750 subscriber giveaway that I'm going to be putting together. I partnered with 432 Fishing and we're planning some kind of jig package. We're not sure yet, but stay tuned on that. And I also want to thank uh, Hunt for Greatness. He actually was uh, out on the water last week and we ended up talking for a few and, and he had been having pretty good luck with the green jig heads. So I, uh, I tried some, some green metals today and we ended up smoking them so here's the video guys if you're not subscribed i'd love to have you and if you would drop a like and drop a comment let me know what you think about the videos i'm always open for for room for improvement so let's get to it thanks guys this is spanish spanish i think That's a nice one. Oh, yeah That's a stud spanish that thing, that thing's a stud, dude. Here you go. Here you. So this is a veteran move right here. <laughs> you let your friend that's better at fishing cook the fish. You sabotage his GoPro. And then you reel the fish in. And you get all the glory. Been doing it for years. As long as you land it, I don't care what you say. <laughs> Man, this feels like a really nice canoe too. Golden boy. Coming right to the boat right now. A swing and a miss. There we go. Good work, dude. Single handedly. Big that Benita is. Oh my gosh. The city. So Jordan just took the reins on that one and landed this stud Vanita. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Good lord, dude. I think it's another nice Spanish. Joy is flipping his head around. Oh, dude, that don't look like a Spanish to me. Oh, starting to... I'm turning to... oh no, no, this is a. Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh, this is this is a really really good one. Oh my gosh, dude, this is a hoss. Bring it right around right now. Good work, dude. <laughs> that was a lot bigger than the other one. So Jordan's got another Atlantic Bonita. Uh, the biggest difference between this and the false albacore, you can see the lines that go all the way down the body. And the Bonita have a lot of sharp teeth, more like the Spanish mackerel. They're all in the same family, but this one's really good to eat. And the uh, false albacore is not as good to eat. Science. <laughs> I didn't even get that Spanish on camera. <laughs> Sorry. Be careful with them. I feel like I'm at a radio with this fish. That's a big one. Oh. I think that's the biggest one. And that's with the single hook? Everything I've caused from a single hook. Are you serious? That's beautiful. Cool. So Jordan just lost one on the single and then I hooked up right after him and lost one on the treble. So I guess it's just a matter of getting the drag right. Oh, Lord, dude, they hit so hard. Uh, and I, I don't have a tight drag. I mean, it's snug. This one's 
streaming it, man. All right, we're doubled up. <laughs> one's going one way, one's going the other. <laughs> we need to switch rods, honestly. Right, just, just, just go over now. That's great. Right. Back here. The boat don't know what to do. It's getting pulled in two directions. <laughs> he seems gassed. Oh, he's just, just straight sticking me, man. Can't tell if he's swimming me or. Oh, there we go. All right. Let's see him now. He's on the surface. It's like he's got that head buried and. Yeah. Can't do anything with him. I mean, he's gotta be wrapped up weird or something. Yeah. Oh, look at that, dude. Oh, he's a <laughs> he saw that one coming. When their foul hook is so much harder to control. Yeah, I can't do anything with him. Here it is on the side, it's just doing whatever it wants. Got him! Boom! That was terrifying. I would never foul hook. Look at where this fish was hooked at. Right in the side. Right in the side. But he was, I mean, there, there's the treble for you. Beautiful fish, man. They taste so good. Look at how thick the fish are right now. That's nuts. Look, look at this. Oh my gosh, that was cool. <laughs> look at that. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. They're so thick that they're just smashing it on the surface. I'm reeling as fast as I can. They're chasing it, look. Oh my gosh, that was the sickest eat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh man, he hit it right at the boat. Good Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Short fucker, don't work. This is stressful. <laughs> I'm trying to keep out close to the boat so yeah. I can get in here. Good work, man. Good work. Good work, dude. That's crazy. Good work, man. <laughs> They're all solid, man. One in the boat and one on the rod. Yeah. Mine straight digging. Man, that fish hit probably what, eight feet from the boat. I probably have one or two more cranks. Good work, man. It's a stud right there. Oh my God. Oh man. Well, our luck has turned around, that's for sure. Gosh. <laughs> oh man, this is a beast. Gosh. Look at these fish stacked up, guys. There's just so many of them. He's trying to go straight away from you. You tail hooked? Oh, it's a foul hooked bluefish. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm directly under the boat.
Look at that. Good work. It's called the Gatorade bottle and everything. <laughs> he was acting, he was acting like a straight stud. I mean, that's a big, that's a fat fish. <laughs> you say that like this, not a girl. That is there. I mean, they're studs. They're all studs. Yeah. I mean, I think they're all. The smallest one we caught today is the same size as the biggest one we caught on that really good day we had last year. Yeah. All right. So we just got out the scale. The biggest one is a little under five pounds, 4.98. Oh, that's a stud. I'm gonna weigh the smallest one. So, what? 3.95 pounds is the smallest one. So four pounds. All these fish are in between four and five pounds. That's crazy. It's a good day. What do you think, buddy? What do you think, Odie? Rue, what you doing? Huh? What you doing, Rue? You guys saw that we had an awesome day. We ended up hooking up to 14 fish and we landed seven of the 14. We did have issues with pulling hooks today and it wasn't specifically a treble or an inline hook. We, we equally lost fish on both. I'm thinking maybe it's a drag thing. Um, these fish, of course, you, you're hooking up at, at high speeds. You're, I'm, I was reeling as fast as I could for the majority of the day. And uh, when you're reeling that, that fast, I, I can understand that you're gonna have issues with pulling hooks. But I'm gonna play with the drag and we'll, and we'll keep on improving on that. If you have a suggestion, drop a comment below and let me know what you guys do for catching Atlantic Manita or other species that are similar. I'm always open to improvement. And uh, thanks again for watching the video. If you guys are still paying attention right now, you're one of the few that, that pay attention to the end and, and, and all my love goes out to you guys. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna keep on making these videos and if you guys have any real estate needs, I'm dropping a link below for my page. You can call me, text me, whatever works best for you, um, buyers or sellers. Thanks again, guys. Catch you on the next one.